50, 90, D. We got triple D size. Nvidia might be worth $52 trillion by the next decade, estimates early Tesla and Amazon investor. We also got a new GeForce RTX driver, Intel Core Ultra 9 285K update. I'm not gonna read that entire title. That's a pretty long title. AMD CPU roadmap now lists Zen 6 architecture. Development of Zen 7 is underway, obviously. So let's go ahead and cover this right here. Nvidia reporting the GeForce RTX 5090 D for China launching in 2025. That's going to have 50% performance. I think it's funny that we're, uh, I think it's hilarious that we're like, we're actually trying this hard to avoid China taking over the planet when like we can't even control our own country right now. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. Your boy will get very much off topic. I actually watched a super, um, I already forgot. So we got the RTX 5090. We got the 50, 90, D, triple D, 40, 90, and then the 4, D, 90, D, triple Ds. Except this one's up, up a size. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before i order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below so because of how you see this right you, you do you do realize why well, i'm not about to read all of this so i'm gonna let it scroll down this is the article of nvidia maybe worth 50 trillion dollars by the next decade so the reason i was explaining this is because our country is trying like they're trying to do things they're trying to fix our broken country they're trying to avoid china taking over the world they're trying to whatever avoid a depression when it's gonna happen dude it's just like i this is just my personal opinion i would rather be broke homeless and have nothing for a year rather than stress out and struggle for the next 10 years but if that is like not what you would rather do, then you can inform me in the comments that you would rather spend the next 10 years struggling and making nothing rather than spending a whole year in whatever the worst life you've ever had. I don't know. I don't know how else to say that, but it's like, we're going to happen because our country's going down the same road as Argentina where Argentina, I, yes, I'm not political, but I do in fact like history and science. I love history and science. I love learning about new stuff, especially outer space. If it's outer space, bro, man. Um, oh my goodness. So three body problem, highly recommend these two shows on Netflix, three body problems, really good show. Super cool. Super unique. Never seen anything like it. The ending sucked. It was a huge cliffhanger. I'm not going to spoil anything. And then there's also another one that i just started watching it's kind of a kiddish so if it was like more i if i want to say if it was like tv 14 or pg 13 or something it would be a lot more better but the story in it is still really cool it's called lost in space it's about this guy this little kid will and he finds this like ai robot up in space and they like they travel planets and run into a bunch of problems yo there's a fucking big ass bug right there watch this whoa where'd it go Yo, there's, that was a big ass bug. Where'd it forget it go? It was massive. Are you kidding me? Now I'm going to be paranoid. All right. So we're getting back. So this is the driver. It's just NVENC quality and bitrate settings are ignored at 10 bit encoding. Nice. OBS scaling 10 bit. Dude, what is all this stuff? Woo. Unit unity artifacts when rendering Adobe premiere visual corruption. Oh my goodness. That's the first one. That's the first one that I've seen of, of issue with with Nvidia. So I've actually been, uh, dude, I use the 70, I actually recommend the 7900 XTX. Wow, what an improvement that AMD has made. So I, I actually just built a computer with, oh my God, dude, it's like a majillion degrees out where I live. Um, Really, brain, fuck you. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Uh, so the GeForce RT, the experience performance monitoring overlay, it'll come back to me. I know I was thinking about something. If the GPU utilization gets stuck at 0% within performance, 
display stuff yo what is all you know what the freaking you know what i need you know what they hey gibberish mouth would you stop gibberishing um you know what they need to do alt tab amd doesn't have this issue how many of you watching this are a gamer alt tab what happens when you alt tab with an nvidia graphics card black screen of annoyingness i'm gonna call it hold up i'm gonna invent the a new B, bsod i have this here for a reason you're you're seeing it so we're gonna go ahead and here alt tab oh that's where i was going with the 7900 xtx um title explains this by the way i don't need to read the article but if you want to i'll read this you can do so here's it i'll, I'll read it to you intel core ultra 9 285k arrow oh my god my sweat's dripping in my eyeball and it stings arrow lift <laughs> arrow lake dude it's so hot out oh my god i'm putting this thing on high arrow lake s flagship cpu rumored to clock up to 5.7 gigahertz and 5.5.4 gigahertz across all p cores p cores nice so then we got all this stuff oh my god dude i'm gonna but the 79 it, anyways the reason i was explaining it is because the, the amd graphics cards are a hundred percent worth it the 7900 xt dude it's literally half the price of a 4090 and it it performs close enough like it's at i want to say a little bit above the 48 the level of a 4080 um obviously you do get extra features with nvidia but it's not like i would be like nah dude like this look i've used radeon graphics cards before dude and i'm sorry but at least the programs i use cinema or i don't so i don't use blender or cinema 4d anymore because i sold my animation channel and i sold the channels that i was whatever using those programs with um and the AM, the the amd graphics card no dude i will never use that ever again because i did actually install it was the 7800 xt it wasn't the 7900 xtx but i wanted to swap to it to see what it was like so uh yeah it's a good graphics card i'm literally dying of heat i don't remember i don't remember anything i talk about 90 percent of the time anyway but it's real. it's like 99 percent right now because of how hot i am so this right here was just amd zen 6 and zen 7 confirmed so we want to clarify one of the comments made on stage during engineering roundtable so here you go there's the photos and then the rumored amd zen roadmap client so you see here oh my god dude i really am so hot right now you don't understand how hot it is so the ryzen ai 300s and i got a p as well titles describe them and then i just like to have fun and hang out and chat with you guys and it seems to be working pretty good for the channel yeah there's a lot of trolls that complain about me being too adhd but really don't care you can <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video <laughs>